Hey, Trev, thanks for taking some time. Appreciate it. A couple of quick ones for you. Uh, fourth home run of spring today, I think four of your seven hits the spring met homers. Is that just coincidence? Are you been working on launch angles, anything, or is that just the way it happened? Uh, no, I think that's just, uh, you know, that that's just how it's happened so far. Um, obviously, I, you know, I'm not as consistent <clears throat> with my moves and my timing right now, but feeling better. Um, so, you know, I think the, the results are going to kind of vary when that's the case. But, um, yeah, I feel good. And, I, you know, when I'm hitting the ball hard uh, right now, it's, it's usually in the air. So that's, that's a good sign. Uh, actually, two more questions for you. Uh, with Brendan Rodgers um, on the injured list uh, for at least a month, he's out. Rymack most likely will move back to, to second, at least to start the season. Um, how do you feel about – one, him as an overall second baseman, and two, about the chemistry you two have developed uh, between the shortstop and second base position. I think it's really good. Uh, our communication is is always really good, and um, <clears throat> you know it's easy when you're, you know, we're really close friends, so we're we're always talking about ways that we can get better, and um, so, you know, and obviously the the experience, you know, we've had we've played a lot of games together, so. We're, you know, we, we've had game experiences and we've had the weird situations that um, you know, we've gotten through and we can lean on that experience. So, uh, yeah, I think it'll be seamless having Matt get, get right back in the flow of that. And final one for me, uh, you've been able to see Austin Gomer pitch a few times now. Um, numbers are great. Uh, being back here in Denver, I really haven't had a chance to see him except for once. What are your impressions of him? Uh, Buddy's been saying he likes how Gomber works quickly and attacks hitters. I'm curious from your perspective what your impressions are. Yeah, very similar. I love that part of his game. Um, he attacks, man, and he, you know, he has some good stuff. And uh, I think more than anything, his uh, he's got a little bit of presence out there. You know, he's he's out there competing, and um, he wants to be out there, man. And I'll go behind, play defense behind that all day. And um, so yeah, it's it's been a great addition for sure. Thank you, Trevor. I appreciate it. Thomas Hardy? Yeah, Trevor. Um, today you had Chris Owings at second base, and they, I guess, told him he made the team today. It could be a lot of switching around, whether it's Owings, whether it's uh, Matt, whether it's Newton, um, whether it's Hampson. Is having that same double play partner, have you found that that has been a great thing, or is it overrated? What do you think? <clears throat> Um, yeah, I think there's benefits to it for sure, but, um, you know, I think the way our team is built, we have a lot of versatility. So uh, I think, you know, we, we'll lean on that. And I think we've shown that, um, you know, a lot of our second baseman can play other positions. And I think that's kind of the way this roster is built. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I, I don't think it, it hasn't been like a consistent since DJ, you know, but um you know i'm not saying that's that's good or bad um, i think that's just the way our team is built and we have a lot or i have a lot of confidence in the guys um you know whoever plays second because we work every day you know i'm working with co i'm working with mac and work with b-rod hampson josh even at second too so all those guys man i have uh, a lot of confidence in them and that's because we've we work together uh, another one along those same lines um you guys have the injury to b to b-rod you you have some changes in the lineup. Does it feel like you know what this team is going to be, or is that going to take all the way up to the regular season or even into the season to kind of get a feel for what the Rockies are going to be like? Yeah, I think it's an ever-growing thing. You know, I think it's a continuous thing. So, um, you know, I think once once the real games start and, you know, towards the end of spring, we'll have, a, you know, a better – feel of what it's really going to be like you know of, of our everyday lineup and stuff like that but um yeah man i think like i said you know our team is built on versatility and you know that's one of our strengths so looks like we're going to use it that way uh as far as you're concerned to take a pitch the opposite way the way that you did is that a sign of anything and what is that a sign of yeah it's good it's always good you know if i can hit that fastball away um, with authority that way. So, um, 
you know, certainly a good feeling to, to do that. And, um, yeah, I think it's just a sign of me being more consistent in the box and getting my feels back. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's something that I really liked. Yeah, last one for me. You, you talked about things aren't exactly consistent right now. I know there were a couple of bets yesterday you kind of wanted to get back. If you could put into um, words what needs to be consistent for you to feel really, um, really good going into the regular season. Yeah, a lot of it is timing, um, and I know that sounds pretty simple, but um, you know it, it's different. You know, hitting BP every day and then going and you know slowly graduating into games and then you know playing two games in a row and um, you know, th- there's just an ebb and flow to it that uh, me myself, you know, it takes a little time to get used to. But um, you know, it, it's always kind of been that way for me, and um, you know, there's things that um, I can work on here that you know, to see, see if I want to use that in the regular season or not. So it's something that, uh, it, you know, it's part of the plan. And, um, yeah, that just moving consistently the way I want is, is what needs to happen. Thanks, Trevor. I really appreciate it. Yep. I'm going to Tracy Ringlesby to finish up. Tracy. Hey, Trev, um, you know, there's, there's the questions about McMahon, but also Fuentes moving in at third base. And, and, I mean, you and Nolan had worked together for a long time. Now, all of a sudden, you know, it's gonna, it looks like Fuentes to start the season. How comfortable have you gotten with him? How much have you really gotten to play with him uh, over time? Um, yeah, it's been quite a bit. I think, you know, over the past two springs and, um, you know, just a lot of work pregame and, and early work, stuff like that. You know, we get to have eyes on each other and kind of get the feel for – how we move about the infield and Josh is really good, man. He's, he's cut from the same cloth as his cousin. You know, he loves taking ground balls. He loves, um, he loves the work and, um, he's always prepared. So I love that. And he's, uh, he's pretty special over there in my opinion. It would seem like we're, you know, okay, they may not be Nolan, but with either McMahon or Fuentes, they're above average defensive third base, aren't they? Yeah. In my opinion, I think so. They both can, you know, they're really accurate with the glove, and um, you know they make the the spectacular plays too. And uh, they both have really good arms, and uh, they, you know, they. I think the the biggest thing is they want the ball hit to them. So um, aggressiveness is huge playing third base, and I think they both um, are better than average for sure. You and Kyle both showed up spring training very adamant about the fact that you're better than people want to give you guys credit for. What have you seen this spring to reinforce that and make you even believe it more? Yeah, I think, you know, more than anything, I think it's a belief, you know, with the guys in this clubhouse. And, you know, I think we show up with, you know, we show up with an an attitude that um, we're going to win, you know. We're going to do everything we can, prepare the way we know how. and then once it's time to play, you know, we're just going to go let it eat and, and have fun. So um, I think that attitude is, is nice and it, it's fun and it's it's freed up a lot of guys, I think, to just kind of be themselves and um, have fun playing this game because it's, it's really hard. Does it almost seem like, like the last two years you guys were expected to be something? The two years before that when you went to the postseason, nobody had expectations. Is it almost better, you think, to have a little bit of a chip on your shoulder and say we're better than you think we are? I think the situations are similar. Um, me personally, you know, I, I would rather have the expectations, you know, um, because that means you, you've done something pretty good in the last couple of years, you know. But, um, you know, the last two two years haven't been great for us. and. Um, so that, that is the attitude we're coming in with. And um, I think once you, you know, you, you count out a group of guys that are pretty talented and um, have pretty good work ethic, then, um, you know, I think it'll, it'll serve us well to, to, to carry that with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chuck.